Uh, for instance, I was raised in a very liberal household, and yet um, it was staunchly so. And come the age of about 13, I started to have some really individual thoughts, and I wanted to see what the other side had to say. I started watching O'Reilly and whatnot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. But, um, and some of the better sources for, you know, conservative viewpoints. And I found a lot of truth in their points as well. And in this way, I sort of became a delving. I, I, uh, I, I took the best from either side, you know. And uh, that's just one example of how that's worked for me. And the way I figure, God created me with this personality that questions everything. And I, I mean, I question myself on a constant basis. I've learned I can't trust myself. 100%, not even 80%, but, like, if God created me this way, then, obviously, well, the way I see it, he would want me to, to perform that question, don't you think? And, I mean, I tried to go to a youth group for a while, I was what you'd call a disadvantaged youth, which is a really dumb way of calling a poor kid, um, and so I went to this youth group for a long time, and I left really angrily because of a few things that they had told us. It was supposed to be a uh, it was supposed to be for all sects of Christianity and Judaism, and Lord, that was some. Uh, I think you have to understand how much hypocrisy I was raised around before you'd understand exactly how I became so. slow to trust any organization but anyway I, I, I think I've taken up a lot of your time so thanks for it and uh, thanks for your views